What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, welcome. Hopefully, you guys will stick around and go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And for all of my loyal subscribers, hey, girl. All right, so for today, we are getting into our catch-all planner. I used the Teresa Collins. Y'all, I was so in love with this spread. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so me. It's got some pink. It's got the yellow in it. Like I absolutely love this spread. So I'm really hoping that this for this week, I can create something that I loved as much as this because this was just everything to me. But we are going ahead and get into this week, which is the 24th through the first. Um, so let's just go on ahead and dive in. All right, you guys, so this week is super exciting because we are finally digging into our gardening one and two book, and this came from the Bloom Box. First of all, let me warn you guys, there's a lot of movement happening today. The kids are out of school. It is Monday, um, so, you know, it's just one of those things. So if you hear background noise, it just is what it is, and we just going to keep it pushing. But yeah, I'm super excited to be getting into these sticker books. Finally, and you guys already know, I kind of do a little bit of pre-planning here. So let's just uh, go on ahead and get into it, shall we? Cause I ain't nothing to it, but to do it. All right, so um, first sticker here that we are gonna lay down is this guy. And we are just gonna line it up flush to the top. I was debating whether or not I wanted to go on ahead and dive into this book already, but I was like, what the hey, babe? Like, why the heck not? I mean, I'm trying to get myself in the mood here for, um, <clears throat> for, you know, the spring time because, yeah, it's, it's coming up real quick. Um, so trying to get myself all hyped up and ready to go. I think I want to lay this one down smack dab in the center. So there we go. We have that. And kind of wanted to play off the fact that, you know, it's spring coming up and like the daffodils will be popping up. I don't know about the roses or I don't know what these other purple flowers are in this but I think it just complements the yellow really nicely so I went for it so yeah so what do you guys have going on this week this week for me is like all about business I have a few different um a few different appointments going on. I'm trying to decide if I want to put that there. Or not. You guys already know I use my cheat sheet here to kind of like do some pre-planning. So referring to this, this will actually work out for Saturday, but I don't think I want to put it. Well, I don't know. I probably could, but I don't think I want to stick it way down there. I'm thinking I will put her like here. So let's line this up here. You guys already know, like, I wish I had some more washi to complement the page a little bit more, but I don't, so I'm not gonna complain too much. I still really like this planner, but it's the peach lines that kind of throw things off sometimes. But we gonna work with it, we gonna make it do what it do. All right, so think I want to use this guy uh, Monday I don't have much going on Tuesday I have some things going on Saturday it's Tuesday a few things and then let's go on ahead and put this Thursday I guess Going ahead and pop her there. I'm liking that. Like I 
said I do have. I feel like there's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here, but we gonna keep it pushing. Everything that I pulled for the most part is more functional. So we may go back into the book and see if we can find more decorative things. Um, let's put this baby up here. And I don't have anything going on Friday. <clears throat> now you guys already know I'm going to pop in a few lists All right, I just got a call in, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. Cause I do wanna do some seed starting on Sunday. All right, so let's go back into these books and let's pick out some more decorative aspects here. I really wanted to try to use all of like, you know, the daffodil uh, elements here and I know there may be more so let's go on ahead and pull those babies out because at first I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to use all of them but I think I'm going to go on ahead and go for it um so let's see a lot of daffodils happening over here so I think I want to put some here so maybe I want to peel this up and kind of layer this over top like that I think I like a lot I like that. I like that. This little daffodil here. Okay. Put it yet. I'll use this little guy.
All right, you guys, so here's what I came up with so far. I felt like I was missing a little something, so I took a pause for the cause and I pulled out my journaling doodles book and I found these little washies and I just feel like I need some, some sparkle and some shine here. So I am going to take a few of these pieces just to add a little bit more sparkle to the page. So I think I want to take some here. I'm going to I also want to do I want to do just a little bit down here. A little crooked. And then some over here. take some across here as well. I feel like this is pretty much the missing piece to this layout. Always washy. I think I just need to invest in more. And then just to pull that in a little bit more, there are some more little foliage that I can use here and there. So I think I will go on ahead and add some. All right, y'all, so here is the finished spread. I think I am feeling everything. I really ended up using these four books. So the gardening one and two, I pulled some aspects from the detailed florals and then just a few little pieces here and there from the journaling, or not this one, but journaling doodles. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create this fun spread. And yeah, I think we're all done here. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. And until the next one, peace out.